Hey guys, you know I always get excited every time there's a new hot sauce to review for Hurtberry Farm. And I'm just blown away by what these two guys create, Drew Jacobson and Steve Best. And as far as I'm concerned, their brand new one is a masterpiece. This is Chlorifier, Thai-styled Churrasco hot sauce from Hurtberry Farm. What's going on guys? It's Bill Moore back again with another hot sauce review. Now this one is the brand new one from Hurtberry Farm located in Port Perry, Ontario, Canada from Mr. Drew Jacobson and Steve Best. And there's a picture of those two handsome guys right there. That is Drew on the left and his partner Steve on the right, just in case you haven't seen them. Uh, but this is the brand new one, guys. This is Chlorifier. This is a Thai-style Churrasco hot sauce from Hurtberry Farm. Now, just check out that beautiful green label. And I decided to wear my nice green polo shirt for this review. And let's get into this and why it's green. Let me go ahead and read what it says about this one, guys. It says, Introducing Chlorifier. Our newest limited edition super hot sauce featuring an array of fresh Thai and Brazilian ingredients that delivers layers of bold flavors and aromas. We then balance these flavors with prolific heat using super hot chilies that are sure to ignite anything you choose to pair it with. Suggested pairings, grilled meats, seafood and vegetables, marinades, dressings, tacos, ceviches, or cocktails, I bet that would be awesome. Now, everything that Drew and Steve create is so well thought out. Not only the ingredients that are inside the sauce, but the label, the name, everything. Now, why do you think they call this chlorifier? Well, that's because it's made with chlorophyll type herbs. Now, in case you don't know, chlorophyll is that green pigment or substance that's found in green vegetables that absorbs light. It's part of the photosynthesis uh, process of absorbing light and turning it into energy. And I believe that is exactly what's on that, um, the, lo the label there is a, uh, a cell, a chlorophyll cell. And look at that light just surrounding the cell. I just thought that was awesome. So it's kind of a play on words, chlorophyll, chlorifier, fire, because they filled it up with some super hot peppers. Um, I think it's just amazing what uh, you guys have done with this one. Uh, just from the name, everything about it is just amazing. So let's go ahead and get into these uh, ingredients on this one, guys. Uh, it's got a lot of ingredients, and I'm going to read it from the website. It makes it easier. We start off with good old water. Then we have white vinegar, Carolina Reaper, fresh jalapenos, organic cane sugar, fresh green Thai chilies, fresh green bell peppers, fresh Thai eggplant. I love eggplant. I don't think I've ever had uh, eggplant uh, in a hot sauce before. And if I'm not mistaken, I think the Thai eggplant is the smaller ones, not the longer uh, Japanese uh, eggplant that I'm, I'm kind of familiar with. I'm, I believe I'm right about that. Unseasoned rice vinegar, fresh garlic, kosher salt, fresh parsley, tamarind paste, ghost pepper, red Trinidad scorpion chilies. We're not done yet, guys. Seven pot red brain strain chilies. Now here we're going to get into some of these chlorophyll type herbs. Fresh Thai basil. There is a difference. Fresh culantro. Now this is not cilantro. This is also known as shadow benny. Uh, you'll find it in a lot of Trini pepper sauces from the Caribbean or Trinidad uh, type pepper sauces. It's, it's not cilantro, but it's culantro or shadow benny. Uh, believe that the leaves on this herb are, are uh, bigger than, than your regular cilantro that you're probably familiar with. So there is a difference. So it's culantro, C-U-L-A-N-T-R-O. Fresh lemongrass grass, fresh mint leaves, fresh garlic chives. What's garlic chives? What's that's uh, the, uh, the grass like um, uh, stems or leaves uh, from the garlic. Um, there is a difference between chives, regular chives kind of taste more like onions and then uh, garlic chives taste more like garlic. Uh, ginger root, xanthan gum, 
Capper lime leaves, I love that in a hot sauce, and the Javanese long pepper. So just amazing list of ingredients and just check out this beautiful consistency, guys. Now, I don't think I've ever seen one quite like this from Hurtberry Farm. You can see the chunks and actually the leafy um, herbs that are in here. Sometimes they get stuck to the, um, to the side of the bottle and you can really see them. But just a beautiful, thick, chunky type of hot sauce. Not too thick, but just beautiful looking. Just love the consistency on this one. Now, uh, Drew and, uh, was telling me that uh, they thought of me <laughs> when they were making this hot sauce because I'm all into not just the flavor, but I'm all into how a hot sauce smells. I love it when a hot sauce just has such an awesome aroma and there's so much going on. And this one blew me away. This is amazing. Now, the first thing that came to my mind when I smelled this, I got mint. You're getting those chlorophyll type herbs, those green herbs. You're just getting a blast of those fresh green herbs. It just smells amazing. Definitely picking up some garlic, but I'm getting mint. And then other times when I've smelled this, it didn't come right away. But all of a sudden it reminded me of a, um, of, um, what am I trying to say? The uh, a relish, a pickled, a sweet relish. You know how you would use a, a uh, finely chopped sweet relish, maybe in a potato salad? Sometimes it comes across as that way. Just amazing. Really, really super, super um, awesome aroma. Very, very savory, very, very green, very fresh smelling, kind of sweet, kind of pickly, oniony, garlicky, minty. Uh, just amazing. All right. Let's put this on a spoon and just look at this beautiful sauce. It's got chunks in there. All right, here we go with a spoonful of chlorifier. Mm. Ooh. And then as you taste it, <laughs> you realize how spicy it is. Um, it's not, it is super hot. It'll kind of take your breath away if you're not used, you know, if you're not expecting this, but all of those peppers in here, it's got a pretty good amount of heat to it, but wow, the flavor, it's just outstanding. It's just amazing. I love this stuff. Woo! Now the fire chlorifier all over the mouth. It's got the jalapenos in here. It's got those green Thai chilies. It's got um, uh, Carolina Reaper. Yeah, that was the uh, second ingredient. Carolina Reaper, red trended as scorpion, seven pot brain strain chilies. Woo! Amazing. Also, I get the basil as well. That's definitely coming through in the aroma and the flavor as well. This is uh, starting to sweat a little bit. This is super, super delicious. Just absolutely amazing. Blown away by what you guys do. Ah, this tastes so good. Oh, now let me show you what I did with this one, guys. Um, now, what is churrasco? Churrasco, it says Thai-style churrasco hot sauce. Churrasco is a Portuguese or Spanish term or word for grilled meat. That's basically what it is. So if you go to, uh, if you want churrasco, usually you're going to get some type of meat. It could be chicken, beef, pork. Like it, it could even be bread or it could be organ meats uh, from different animals that are grilled maybe on a skewer over an open flame or maybe some hot coals or wood or something like that. But that's referring to churrasco. Um, now here's what I did with this one, guys. I had this on some grilled chicken. And I also made uh, uh, skewers with some onions. And what I did is I used a, a good amount of um, chlorifier with some olive oil and also a dry chimichurri seasoning blend that I had. Mixed that all up together and then marinated those chicken kebabs, put a chicken, put that on the skewers with some onions and then served that on top of some coconut saffron rice and it was just absolutely amazing so perfect way to enjoy this sauce is on grilled meats i also had this on some of myung's um pan fried uh, uh, pancakes korean style pancakes with kimchi and onions and potatoes and that was just amazing as well to kind of use it as a dipping sauce um heat on this one 
I think I put it in the middle, just a five out of 10 for heat. Uh, it gives me a nice solid medium burn. It's not a painful burn. You definitely get the super hot, so all over the mouth, you get that type of oven hot, super hot type of mouth burn all over, but it's not particularly painful. It doesn't really go to the back of the throat that much. So I think I'd just give it a, about a five out of 10 on my one to 10 scale, but super, super delicious. Uh, great job on this one, guys. Check this out, guys. Chlorifier. Love that play on words with the title from Hurtberry Farm. Everything these guys produce is just absolutely amazing. So, highly recommend it. Hurtberryfarm.com. Link will be down in the description. Drew and Steve, thank you so much for sending this. I greatly appreciate it. Guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Just hit that Enjoy the Burn logo right there. And then hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. And until next time, make sure you enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.